That's a heating pad. Hello, everybody. We're so glad to see you. <laughs> it's now 11 o'clock Sunday night. Baby and Daddy visited Mama at the hospital, and Mama came home today. They gave her some medicine. One's for high blood pressure, the other one is for something similar, going along with it or something. Uh, she has to be careful if she gets up too fast, her blood pressure drops because she's now on this medicine. Oh, I, I think with time things will sort themselves out. Baby is up to three ounces of food. Boy, is he a hungry hamster. And he can burp and pee and poo pretty good. He's getting the hang of that. And the first night was not just Brian and I. There's three of us taking shifts now. One, two, three, four. I get up in four hours. Um, Brian's on doing first shift, then me, and then Ashley, and then Brian. So we're we're doing shift work. We're gonna see if this works. And uh, as long as baby stays on some kind of a schedule, baby will get used to it. And eventually he'll eat less times and wake less times. And you know, it 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 takes a little time, but we'll get there. Um I don't know how people do it. I don't remember doing it. I worked and took care of baby. <laughs> I don't remember doing it. It just, I think when you're a parent, it's so much happening to you that you're in constant shock and sleep deprivation. So you don't realize what the heck's going on. And that's why I think people enjoy being grandparents because they don't have to go through all this stuff. The parents do. But I'm part of a team. I'm a team player, okay? Put that on my resume. <laughs> Kitty cats, like, where have you been? I have some sewing things. Uh, little bibs made out of hand towels. When I talk to Scott, I have several requests to make some more of those. Maybe I could sew them. I don't know. It all depends. Uh, Brian has a t-shirt that he loves, but it's a little too tight. I bought a matching colored t-shirt. And I'm going to add sides to it, like I do with my shirts. Oh, the one I'm wearing. It has, it has this much of another pink shirt that I cut and sewed on this shirt to get it to fit me. Because it didn't come in large size. And I'm actually making pajama bottoms the same way. I went to the Dollar General store and found these llama pajama and then a plain t-shirt. T-shirt's plenty big. The llama pajama, the, the biggest it came was extra large and I need like 3x. Yeah, big butt. So uh, what I did, they're long-legged leggings. So what I did was I cut the leggings in half and I'm going to attach the lower parts of the legs that I cut off to the side to make them wider. And then any extra fabric, I'm going to cut the llamas out and stitch them on the t-shirt so it looks like a matching pajama set. Well, like this. That came from these pants. I did the same thing to these pants. It works fine. <laughs> They're my pajamas. Who cares, right? They're comfortable? That's fine. I need to try to get to sleep now, as I will be waking up before I know it. Gosh, I've talked a long time already. <sighs> Doggies are glad that Mama's home. Baby's opening his eyes more. <sighs> I'm not sure when I'll be able to get a photo of Baby. They don't really want him on the internet. But I think one photo, just a smiling little baby or a complacent baby or even him hugged up against someone's shoulder, you know. Some people are more private than others. I guess my life's an open book. 
What page am I on? I don't know. I better get to sleep now. My shift will be here before I know it. Upward and onward.